What's up, you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another uh, Godzilla review. And uh, today we are going to be reviewing volumes 1, 2, and 3 of the Hanna-Barbera Godzilla series. Um, one thing I do want to say is it's too bad that Classic Media uh, lost the rights or something to Godzilla and uh, they couldn't give us the rest of the episodes. But this is the uh, first entire season. There was only like two seasons and uh, spanning 13 episodes a season, so altogether there's about 26 episodes, and uh, this is only half. And uh, hopefully someone else picks it back up and we can get the rest of the Hanna-Barbera Godzilla series, because uh, it's a series I loved as a kid, and uh, re-watching nowadays as I'm older, uh, I still love it. It's still very enjoyable. I don't care the way Godzilla sounds, if he sounds, Rawr, or, you know, whatever, that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, you know, I even like the Godzilla design. You know, if I had to say, the Hanna-Barbera Godzilla would probably be my third favorite design after 89 and 62. But uh, anyway, let's get on to the review, starting with uh, Volume 1. Now, the back of these all say the same thing, so I'm not going to get too far into, uh, you know, I'm not going to read the back of each one. I'll just pretty much name the episodes, but I'm just going to read the back of one of these DVDs, just because they're pretty much all the same. But just to get uh, onto it, this is probably my favorite cover art out of all three. I just love the portrait of Godzilla there. It looks awesome. I like the blue in the background. It looks very nice. And then you have the back. And then you have the disc on the inside. This is probably my uh, favorite DVD cover of uh, all of them. And uh, let's get on to uh, the reading. Follow the adventure of the Calico, an ocean an ocean-going research vessel under the command of Captain Carl Majors and his crew scientist Dr. Darian Quinn, her teenage nephew Pete, and first mate Brock. The ship's protector, Godzilla, has befriended the ship's crew after the rescue of a younger winged version of Godzilla, Godzuki. The Calico faces, uh, <clears throat> the Calico faces many dangerous adventures, and luckily Godzilla is summoned to rescue to uh, to the rescue when Captain Majors uses his handheld sonic device that buzzes Godzilla on the ocean floor. If the signal isn't handy, Godzuki's cry for help <coughs> also works wonders at retrieving Godzilla from the deep. From the famous Hanna Barbera Studios and for the first time and for uh, and for the first time on DVD, Godzilla the original animated series is a must have addition to every Godzilla fan's collection, a piece of TV history. And that it is, if you are a Godzilla collector and you grew up with these on TV or later saw them on Boomerang, you definitely want to have these in your Godzilla collection. They are kind of like a hidden, they are kind of like a lost jewel, if need be. And uh, this epi and uh, this disc includes four, uh, you know, and uh, it has four episodes on this disc. It has the Firebird, the Earth Eater, Attack of the Stone Creature, and the Megavolt Monster. And it all sums up in about 90 minutes total on this DVD. So, uh, very nice uh, Volume 1. Now we'll move on to Volume 2. Here is the front. There is the back. And then, of course, the disc. And, like I said, all the reading is the same. But this one includes also four episodes. The Seaweed Monster, the Energy Beast. The Colossus of, of Atlantis and the Horror of <clears throat> the Horror of Forgotten Island. So uh, very nice episodes there. And then we have Volume Three. There's the front cover. There is the back. And then of course the disc on the inside. And then this one includes uh, five episodes instead of four. You got the mag uh, you got the Magnet Terror, where Godzilla. That's actually kind of kind of a neat episode because Godzilla fights a turtle, so you can almost kind of have it like Godzilla versus Gamera. <laughs> uh, Island of Lost Ships, the Breeder Beast, the Sub Zero Terror, and uh, the Time Dragons. And uh, the Sub Zero Terror is a giant, uh, or eh, the Sub Zero Terror is a nice episode, kind of like a remake of King Kong versus Godzilla. Godzilla fights like a giant Yeti, and uh, yeah, Godzilla wins in that one. What's up with that? <laughs> we all love that, right? 
But uh, these are definitely a piece of TV history. Uh, definitely want to add them. I, def I highly recommend you add them to your collection as soon as possible because they do go up in price. Uh, the most expensive one that I had to get was this one. Uh, this one was a little on the pricey side. And, uh, but these two, you can get them on Amazon for not too bad. I know this one should still be on Amazon for only like maybe, like I think it was like four ninety nine. But, uh, I mean, prices on Godzilla stuff jumps up and down. But get these as fast as you can. I highly recommend them. Uh, they are a great piece to have in your collection. We are Godzilla Fan Freaks. This was uh, Volumes 1, 2, and 3 of the Hanna-Barbera Original Godzilla Animated Series. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video review. Thank you for watching.